welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Nalu. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on this particular video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Welcome, 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 welcome. To the newbies, um, I just want to say smash that subscribe button, will you? Yeah, so, um, where to begin ish? I have been MIA from this account since early December yeah early December and like I just gave myself a break you know like I feel like last year in getting back into YouTube my goal was to at least grow my channel you know like I know there's a lot more work to be done I talk about this a lot you know but yeah I just I know there's a lot more work to be done but I gave myself a break like I deserve a break you know I didn't want to get burnt out but then feel like what am I doing I should just stop doing YouTube you know what I mean so I was like okay let me just move at my own pace and like yeah like I have a lot going on I have a lot going on so yeah I just wanted to take a break and um, last December I was fortunate enough to take a whole road trip the last time with I passed like, this was my the sisters, that came with the corona. Dad, we did this whole thing and it was okay it was interesting like I've never really moved by the car for such a long distance you know like that was my first time doing that and I was very nervous because like I know like with me I like my personal space I like my long time and I couldn't imagine spending two days with like my sisters and my dad in the car but it was actually really fun we drove from like here um, I think this is Pretoria I think I'm now sure like I live in Pretoria <laughs> I used to tell people like oh Joburg Joburg but we live way further away from like Joburg and uh, Joburg jo Joburg Central and we live a lot closer to like Pretoria so it kind of like makes sense that Centurion is in Pretoria yeah and yeah we drove from here to like francistown and we like uh slept over in francistown we stayed at uh, some hotel called like cresta something it was a nice place i liked the whole like ambience it it was it wasn't okay it wasn't like rest of kind of vibe you know it was actually like <laughs> and yeah like I, I liked it we spent a few hours there we stayed there like both and going and coming back like I like it I don't see myself like deliberately going to like on vacation there but like it's nice to just like stop there catch a breather take a hot shower make some tea you know and yeah so we like stayed in Francis town didn't get to see Gaboron though um, I would have loved to. Uh, I would. I would have loved to like get a clear picture on like you know the southern side of Africa, and like I've noticed that these places all have like the same thing in common. Like once you leave, once you leave Pretoria and you start heading like up, like up north of South Africa, like yo, we just leave the same. All of us Africans, we just leave the same. Like yeah, there's small towns are a little bit more developed, but like you know you can see like okay, it's giving. Choma, it's giving Monze, you know, <laughs> and like, oh, okay, small town, but like, yeah, like, I kind of got that, I kind of got that, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the saying, like, when it comes to, like, urban development and, like, you know, settlements, like, Africans, we are the same, we are the same, you know, some places might be a little bit more organized than others, but, yeah, we are, we are the same, we really, really, really are, yeah, um, you know, we left Francistown and yeah, we left Francistown and headed like up to Kazimula. I was really amazed and impressed by like, the bridge. Like I've seen pictures of it, yeah, but like being there in person, it's like, oh, okay, you know, someday we have something going on. Yeah, there's a red <laughs> And yeah, like that was really impressive. You should just think so, the phone thinking. The border, like the border thing. <laughs> yeah, so from Kazungula we go to Livingstone. From Livingstone, 
then we started now the amazing race because um, we were arriving, we left uh, SA on the 14th and we were arriving in Zambia on the 15th and then that's my mom's birthday so you know like my dad was trying to like get there on time for us to do something and you know it was kind of horrible like it was it was a bittersweet experience because like, you can imagine you've been traveling for two days when you get home or when you arrive at your destination the first thing you want to do is just like take a shower eat something and then um, sleep but yeah, we like had this whole dinner thing arranged for my mom. My sister who's in Lusaka got like some cake from Meraki. Um, if you don't know Meraki, like you live under a rock. Like Meraki has the best cakes in Lusaka. They are quite pricey, but they are worth the price. Like I always, I always go for Meraki. Like Christmas, birthdays, whatever. It's Meraki. Unless maybe somebody wants just something like different and then you know, yeah, Meraki and Sugar Rush, like those are our birthday cakes, like that's the theme of our birthday cakes like in my family, Meraki and Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush cakes, I mean they make like explicit cakes but like, you know, without the explicitness, we just want like that big chunk of like mud chocolate cake, you know, <laughs> and like, yeah, like it's everyone's favorite. So yeah, my brother got like a cake for my mom from Meraki and we just like all met up at at the prime joint. Yeah, so we had dinner there as a family, you know, some happy birthday for my mom, although we were all just like tired and like drained and you know, like we, we did the whole happy birthday thing and we went home and like yeah like the trip there was a okay the trip there was kind of bad i was tired and i did expect you know to feel so fatigued and so like stressed out and like i just got this week you know me i made a mistake i like halfway through the trip i was like nah i'm gonna wear my wig because i'm that girl like i just felt like it so i did it and you know i did like my little impromptu photo shoot if you follow me on instagram follow me on instagram guys follow me on instagram and hopefully the instagram followers can come to my youtube and we can be one big happy family so follow me on my instagram i'll just leave like my details down there and yeah i posted like i took some pictures i was tired but then like i just wanted to shower i took some pictures I was knocked the fuck out for like the rest of the night, woke up at like 4 a.m. the next day and the trek back, oh the trek to Saka began. So yeah, like, eh, I took off the wig. So <laughs> yeah, I got to, we, yeah, we got to do my mom's birthday thing. I'm glad like we got there like on time because we were getting into the Saka by like 19. And like, I just have like one little, one little complaint. I don't know I don't know if I'm complaining to the right audience but like yo guys like Livingstone come on I was very shocked like I couldn't find no steers I couldn't find no Japanese not even panerotis not even like fish oils like nothing nothing like what what's going on there like is it that like people don't frequent those places so often that they like took them out or have those places like never even been on the map there like i really struggled trying to find something to eat like something to eat to go you know i know like the other side like the other side of like the hotels and whatnot we got to see that like on our way back and yeah like okay that's cute but like you know me i like food i like to be able to eat what i want to eat at convenience so i was really disappointed I was actually like when I when we passed through trauma, I was like we should have stopped in trauma for lunch before. It's like mug and bean, you know, I'm a mug and bean girl. If you follow me on like Instagram, you know I'm a mug and bean girl. So yeah, like ah, I was just kind of disappointed. I was like we shouldn't stop in Livingston unless we are going to the falls because I think that's pretty much what's like cutting there. So <laughs> yeah, and like um yeah like. I think about my trip that's all i have to like complain about i know i complain a lot like do you think I, if you think i complain a lot just leave me something in the comments and just tell me like hey she nag too much like but i don't see this as nagging i find this as like kind of like processing my experiences and it kind of works for me you know like just to like let it all out 
because like why not I can <laughs> and um, you know like my December was really fun I'm glad I got to like go home I'm glad I got to like see my people you know and like this time around okay last time I went back to Zambia I was like you know I need to see everyone I want to like make up with people I wanna you know but then I ended up coming back kind of crushed for like people who didn't make an effort to like be like link up with me or whatever and of course I understand we're all busy you know everyone is trying to like organize their lives I know I am and you know you can't really expect to like constantly have certain connections going on but like I don't know when, like when people are your friends and they like make an effort to be your friends I feel like that's like where it feels a bit more genuine it's like I'm tired of like pouring into cups that don't pour back into me you know so yeah like i kind of like um found myself in a space where like i'm really just trying to like make connections that i already have stronger i know like you know like my girl laura i talk about laura a lot here hi laura i love you <laughs> i know like with, with like laura i couldn't see her because i couldn't travel to the cover belt she couldn't travel to lusaka and we just had to like cut our losses but like yeah like it was so fun to just like see everyone everyone i like roll with like that vanessa lemoa i would see jamin i could see um um yeah i could see everyone <laughs> i could see everyone like my people who like at least like made the effort to like link up with me i mean i i would have liked to like be more in the social scene than I was but then yeah like guys when I tell you guys my parents are strict and like there's all these all these rules I have to follow I just kind of have to follow them I understand like you have to tell me like oh you're an adult you can do whatever you want but I'm a broke adult I'm an adult who doesn't make her own money at the moment so I just have to like like Fuck it up a little bit, like I just have to obey my parents' rules. Like they're my parents, they like, give me money, they feed me, you know. And <laughs> I'm a buddy on their budget. So you know, up until I start to like really figure out what I'm doing with my life, I just have to like deal with that. And yeah, like I would have liked to be more in the social scene. I was kind of jealous, like. Oh, I'm home, I'm in Lusaka, I'm bored, I'm doing nothing, I'm doing the same shit I'd be doing when I'm in SA and like okay, okay, not really like the same shit, but like you know, I'm just home and watching series. Um I'm to you guys the series I've been watching. I've been watching um I I finished watching Alice in Borderland. Very nice show. I love fell asleep. <laughs> Yeah, I've been watching Alice in Borderland, very very nice show. If you're into Korean series, Korean dramas, you should definitely check it out. It's got a very nice storyline and the plot twist at the end is to die for. And because I enjoyed like Squid Game, Alice in Borderland, I decided to watch All of Us Are Dead as well. And I enjoyed it so much, although I don't really like the whole gore thing and like the whole blood stuff like you know the zombies and they when they like tear someone's flesh off and i'm like Ish. <laughs> but i enjoyed it i like the storyline too um laura's been like nagging me to start the office so i started watching the office actually on my way to zambia like i downloaded like a bunch of episodes maybe like a day before i think i watched like two three episodes before we got on the road but like yeah like i find it it's interesting you know it's not necessarily like your typical kind of comedy sitcom but yeah like i like it i love i love pam she's like one of my faves i love pam and jim and their relationship oh she, did i just okay it, I, I think everyone has watched the office i think i'm the only one who's like kind of behind but like yeah i love pam i love pam and jim i like you know how they're like friends and like you know they morphed into a whole relationship I'm still like seeing where that goes and what other series Emily in Paris Emily in Paris um, season 3 came out recently so yeah I've been watching Emily in Paris although like I'm one of those people with like a really short attention span like I'll start watching an episode and then halfway through the episode I get bored or hungry or 
I want to watch 90 Day Fiancé or something and then I just have to leave it halfway. So it takes me a really, really long time to finish watching a season of something. And then I'll start watching something and then I'll like break into something else. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, so whenever I wasn't in the social scene, although I wasn't really in the social scene so much, um, a good like old friend of mine invited me to a party. I went there with Mulemoa. If you used to like watch my old YouTube channel, you remember Mulemoa as my roommate. Um, yeah, I went there with Mulemoa. We had some fun. I know I normally don't indulge in alcohol, but like, ish, I I had alcohol last month. Like, not okay, not like a lot. Let me not even say like a lot. No, but this was and laughing at me like I'm behaving like someone who's never <laughs> never had alcohol before because like I was like I was ready to be lit and to be like turned or something you know like I knew I was going to be home for just a short time and then come back to like sorting out my life and you know moving forward and like you know 2023 the age I'm turning this year guys so I just have to be like a bit more serious than I was last year about you know things I want and like not just talking about them but actually doing something towards towards them and like we're off to a good start don't get me wrong we're off to a good start I'm getting back into like designing I want to really like build that as my strength I want to ah, I can't believe I'm telling you guys my, my plan but like yeah I want to like be that girl you know I don't want to be like an architect or anything I want to be like an architect with a twist you know because i'm a civil engineer and like you know i just want to be that girl like it's not too much to ask for and it's something that i know i can do just give me time yeah so yeah i like really indulged like in the whole alcohol thing we went to like this chill at my friend's friend's house it was nice we met some people there and then they invited us to go swimming and it was an interesting day, you know, like the day we went swimming. I wanna do like I wanna tell you guys like a story time, but like I, you know, I don't want to like be that person who goes and talks like trash behind someone who was not behind anyone's back because like you know it's my experience, it's what happened, and like I nearly drowned because I was trying to jump into the pool with my wig on, and like my wig is big, so oh god, it was just embarrassing. It was embarrassing. I can't believe I even started talking about it on here. But like, it was so embarrassing. And then, you know, like my friend who noticed, decided to tell the story to like everybody who was there. Even people who weren't paying attention to like the fact that I almost drowned. And I was just even more embarrassed. And like, you know, that did, did really end well for me. So, you know, it kind of reminded me why I like to just be by myself. I'm somebody who like, I get embarrassed. I feel embarrassed really easily. Okay, well, not really easily. Like, half the time, I don't really give a shit. But, like, I feel like maybe I, I was more hurt than embarrassed. So, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I was, like, more hurt than embarrassed. I was touched. I was like, I can't believe. Like, you know, imagine you do something stupid and embarrassing and, like, nobody else sees. And then, like, your one close friend, like, sees. And then starts to tell everybody else, like, what had happened. Then it's just, like, medium. Okay, it was really embarrassing. Like, I felt embarrassed for myself. Like, ah. Oh you know i viewed this person in a different light but like you know it'd be like that sometimes and it probably wasn't even that deep i might have just overreacted but like you know my feelings are valid i felt like shit and you know i left <laughs> yeah maybe me i left i'm gonna go home on that person and yeah my other social encounters were mostly just like catching up you know my girl stampa and you know we had like a whole like lunch thing i had like a whole bunch of lunch things you know i didn't really get to like logging around them but like you know me i'm a foodie i will go out to eat on my mom's budget <laughs> yeah so like that was really nice it was really nice to just be home to be like with my sisters like we catch up we hang out we get in each other's like faces on you know, each other's nerves we stay away from each other you know like um yeah it was really it was really really nice um then christmas came christmas came i had to do a lot of last minute decor i think i like you know i'm like the decor queen i'm like the i'm the one you go to for nice things in my family <laughs> 
So yeah, I had to do like a lot of last minute decor shopping and yeah, I went to like, um, what's that place by East Park? Not, it's not called Oka Deco, it's called Golden Oakland. So I, like, I had to just get like a couple of things that I could make look cute. I made this nice setup. We had like a Christmas breakfast, Christmas lunch, Christmas dinner as a family. So um, today is Christmas day. And since I didn't do the whole vlogmas thing, like, well for me the whole vlogmas thing was unnecessary and it's not really like my style. Or maybe I'm just lazy. <laughs> maybe I'm just lazy, I'll take that. But, um, serious, on serious note though, I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm SDA, I'm Seventh Day Adventist. And we don't believe today Jesus Christ was born. Today for exact. You know, this is looked at in my church as a pagan holiday. Because of, I, okay, I guess because of all this whole Santa Claus Christmas tree thing. As a child, I always like... So that it's got no like actual relation to the God I was being taught to believe in. So I've never really like made a big deal of Christmas. Like okay, Christmas, you know. But I never take away from like what other people have to do and say about Christmas. Like you know, like those are your beliefs. I believe different. So yeah. But. We do have like one major tradition, you know, I think this is like the common African thing where we like cook a lot of food and eat <laughs> and eat. So um, we're going to like have like a big breakfast, we're going to have like a big dinner probably. I kind of want to make a big deal out of the dinner, I want everyone to like get dressed. I don't know if I'm going to manage to like execute that, but I want everyone to like get dressed, be like all cute and stuff and we can just like have like a good time you know play some music just like as the family you know nothing extra just you know something nice for us to like all get together and like you know create like some nice memories you know what i mean but yeah so i kind of want to like take you guys along i don't know how i'm going to do this because it's like christmas with my family and then there's like christmas with my friends you know, like, my friends, you know, obviously, like, for them, you know, they, like, make a big deal out of it, where they come from, and, you know, the whole alcohol thing, I don't know, like, I, I, okay, personally, I just want to go swimming, personally, I just want to go swimming, like, that's all I've been wanting to do since I got here from SA, I just want to, like, hit the pool, you know, some nice vibes, some easy music, some maybe nice cocktail or something on the low you know so yeah i'm going to vlog this and i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to vlog this and i'm going to show you guys everything um i want to show you guys my like t-shirt you know like i dug this from like last year's archives we got all these like cute little t-shirts mm -hmm. got these cute little t-shirts made i'm sure you can see sandra right here by my boob and yeah i haven't shit ironed it but then i was like oh yeah this t-shirt so yeah um stick around and okay so this was our whole christmas arrangement nothing too extra you know we just had like yeah like breakfast you know we went all out but nothing too much just something simple <laughs> Nothing too much, just, you know, simple things, the tree there, I did the deco all by myself, and we, like, cooked a whole bunch of stuff, yeah, yeah, <laughs> then on New Year's Eve, we just went out for dinner, um i think we're a whole foodie kind of family and i think dinner is like the easiest thing to like do together so we went to the night jar right next to pride and joint in lusaka and yeah see how big this table is my family is big guys yeah we just we had dinner i was going to like go out at night and do something but then i just i was just demoralized you know I had somebody to talk to on the phone, cross over into the new year with, 
and the fact that I was just hanging out with my family like it's supposed to be was good enough for me, you know. Um, yeah, the rest of my stay was basically just getting ready to get back here. And yeah, like overall, it was a good time. It really was. This is the end of my video, guys. <laughs>